Welcome to Marriage and Life Stories with Kansime. To all the returning guests, thank you so much for coming once again to watch this video. To all the new guests, thank you for choosing to watch this video. If this channel is good and the uh, video that you're watching are good, I will kindly ask you, take time, look at the subscribe button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if it is your first time, support this video by subscribing and liking and leaving a comment and any other information that you'd want us to know. So today we are looking at uh, the lady's pride, the booty. What happens when you are growing and you're turning 35, 36, 37 and the booty, the buttock, we call it the buttocks? Okay, let me not use that one. Let me use the word booty. When it is finally falling and it is succumbing to the law of gravity and the person who used to have that little beautiful curve from the back and then the raised bum, it finally becomes so flat and then you try to you know to wear something, it doesn't come out. Normally when someone has come to the period of menopause, the bum starts coming down, these arms start falling the cheeks start falling and uh, the, the entire face, you know, becomes dry and there is no that plumpy, plumpy bit that you used to have while you are still young. And so today we are going to look at raising the booty and, uh, you know, making the face uh, to stop being dry, to get a little of the, what is it called now, what is it called, collagen to restore collagen naturally on the face. First and foremost, when booty falls, when it loses the shape, first and foremost, this is what we do. And uh, don't miss number three. It is the most, most, most important. Number one is that you have to look at the diet, first and foremost. What are those foods? that create uh, the hormone. Now I will make a disclaimer again, I'm not a doctor at all. I only share with you the things that work for me and uh, the things which are safe, which I believe are safe. And these are foods that God has created for us to eat. So if you have any underlying issues, if you have any other challenges, please go to your doctor and, uh, and make sure that your, your case is handled. And so number one, what we are going to do, we are going to, to be massaging. We are going to be massaging booty with oils. What are these oils that we use? Number one, you're going to get coconut oil. Get coconut oil and uh, you can put in a little essential oil that has that sweet smell that you want, the kind of perfume that you like. Mix them together, the extra virgin of, uh, coconut oil, and uh, mix them together and massage the booty. If this is your back and this is the booty, massage as you lift it up with your hands. Massage, lift it up, lift it up, and lift it up every single day. By the end of the month, you will realize that your booty is uh, is plumpy again. It is being lifted up where it was no longer fitting in your clothes because it was sagging. You will know you will get the feeling. You you will feel the booty fitting into your clothes and uh, and and you will gain more of your confidence. I know what happens when it becomes flat all of a sudden and you're wearing clothes and they're just falling because booty is plumpy, is down. And so what you need to do is massage with coconut oil. If you don't mind it, you can just use it alone, it is enough. If you don't like the sweet scent of the coconut oil, you can add in a, a scent of your own and, and use it to massage in the morning and in the evening before you go to sleep. Number two, okay, number two, you're going to get Vaseline, our usual Vaseline, 
Now this one which is written on Vaseline. Get the Vaseline uh, add in extra virgin coconut oil. Okay, when you add in extra virgin coconut oil, you massage and lift up your booty morning and evening. You, you lift up from the side, you lift up from behind and you oil it nicely, then you wear your panties. That is number two. Then number three, booty sometimes can fall any other part of the skin. The arms can fall, they become so plumpy, you raise. Okay, even mine are not doing well, so from today, I will start working on them. So sometimes this one can fall and it will become so, you know, like you touch and there is nothing like elasticity in there. So people who do not eat enough proteins, uh, they tend to have their skin sag. Now, what is this uh, mixture of proteins that you're going to make and put in your fridge and you'll be taking? This one specifically grows the, um, encourages the female hormone, which grows the, the booty, which forms the breast, and which makes the skin to, on the face to have collagen without um, falling apart. Number one, you're going to get your avocado, uh, scoop it from the cover, uh, you'll get some peanut, okay, peanut, uh, without the cover, a handful, put it in that scooped one of a kettle, you're going to get a glass uh, of, of honey, okay, not a full glass, half a glass of honey, and um, you're also going to get half a glass of soya milk. Now, if you realize all those are high protein foods, high protein foods. So when you get uh, the avocado, a handful of, 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 of G nuts, others call, it, call them peanuts, and then you also get um, half a glass. This half a glass is about 140 mils of milk, of soya milk, and then 140 mils of honey. Put them in a blender and blend. You are going to get a very yummy uh, glass of, uh, of a paste. It tastes so good. And then you put it in your glass container and then you'll be taking a spoon every single day. Now that will restore collagen in your body. It's going to restore the farming effect in your body. And so your body is not going to be plumpy, falling apart, the neck falling apart, this one falling apart, everywhere falling apart. Now, to crown it all, you need to make your posture, make your posture very good. And for instance, there are people who sit and they sit like this. Now, this is not right. When you sit, sit properly, okay, push your chest in front, Tuck in your stomach and push booty behind, okay? You push booty behind so that your shoulders are lifted, your chest is in front, but the stomach is tucked in and booty is behind. But when your posture is good, booty keeps coming up, keeps coming up and it creates that beautiful curve that you used to have. You can have a big booty, but it has still fallen. And so that is what we are dealing with. Now, when you make your posture uh, very good, okay, you will have to look for good pants. Now, if you wear the wrong type of pants for your body shape, they will pull down booty and you'll find that every time either there is a, a line crossing through or the kind of pants you wear, they pull booty down and it succumbs to gravity and the shape, you lose the shape and the confidence. So choose your pants very carefully. If your booty is small uh, and, and, and the hips are not there really, you need to look for, they call them French pants, French pants. Now French pants, they give you the shape. They turn the, the waist, they lift the booty, and then they try to create this curve where the hips are not. And so it will be like an exaggerated, it will create the lifting and 
if you're wearing your clothes, you will look like you really have the curves when actually it is the pant that has helped you. Now, the longer you wear them, the better uh, your, your body is going to be lifted. Now, the French pants are these on which look like shorts, okay? They don't have this that cuts, the line that cuts, but they hold from up, collect the body, they lift it up, and you get more fit. Now, the last one, the last one, lie on your belly, okay? Lie on your belly, try to lift up your head up by pushing the chest, and then try to lift your legs from behind up. Lift the legs up from behind, like you make the head go up, the legs go up, and you're lying on your stomach just alone. Now, the more you do that, the more your posture is corrected, the more your booty is going to be lifted up. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, if you find it helpful, please subscribe and like and leave me a comment. God bless you. Bye-bye.